Oh, my controller died. Oh, welcome to Dark Souls. Hey everybody, jumping in some more Dark Souls with the enemy randomizer and the item randomizer. Now, unfortunately, I have some bad news. The last time I tried playing this, I got myself in a rather precarious position. Okay. So, I was able to make it down here to Blight Town, but I've essentially soft locked myself into this area because, as you see, I immediately ran away from that bonfire. Right outside the door, I have a couple of fun enemies to deal with. One, guess what enemy he's replaced? He, he's replaced one of the mosquitoes, which means that even if I do take him down, another will just take his place. And in case that wasn't bad enough, one of the other mosquitoes has been replaced by the four kings. So I'm just stuck. I was able to make it down here, but I can't even get out of here. Not to mention, I don't have the rusted ring, so I can't make it across the swamp to try to get to the spider boss, so I can't try to ring the bell. I'm just stuck here. Look, I'll run outside just so you can see how awful this is. Look, there he is. There's that boy. Big, big boy. Big, big, big boy. Who runs across the swamp like it's no big deal. But then, look at all this other stuff. Look, look at all this. I know that was kind of what I was asking for when I got into this, but... I just wanted you to see the four kings. I don't even know if you got to see him there. Oh, yep, there he is. There's the four kings. So yeah, I have absolutely no chance. Blight Town's already kind of cheap, but with the enemy randomizer, it was a little overzealous, replacing too many of the basic enemies with boss enemies. So, I basically have to reset the mod. But rather than just doing another randomizer, I'm just going to get out of this because he's going to keep killing me. I thought it might be more fun to do something a little different. So, I'm going to reset Dark Souls back to what it was, and then try out some different mods. So, give me one second. Alright, and so, to get out of that mess, we've installed a new mod called Age of Sunlight. Ooh, there's a title right on the screen. So at least we know it's installed properly. Now, the first thing I want to do is make a new game. So it looks like all these classes are actually quite a bit different. I really don't even know what to expect, so... I wanted to try out something different, like the Pyromancer. But honestly, I'm kind of terrified now, because I don't know how different this is going to end up being. Maybe I should go with something a little more familiar. You know what? Because uh, this is the first time I've done this mod, I'm going to try the Knight. I guess we'll find out together. Okay. Yay. Undead Asylum. Now, I am definitely... Gonna be fat rolling in all this armor. What can I take off? That's a little better. I don't have any weapons. I did have 12 fire bombs though, so at least I can take down that first boss. Because with a, a gameplay overhaul like this, and again I'm playing the Age of Sunlight mod, but with an overhaul mod, who, who knows what all they've changed? Who knows what that first boss will drop. And maybe he'll drop the same weapon. I have. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, so... At least this will be a little more stable, uh, hopefully a little less uh, insane as the last uh, time we were playing it, but... Yep, he's still up there, and good, we can see him. He's a regular old same guy. And throw it. Oh, no, I didn't throw it far enough. How did he hit me? Oh, it's a bad time to throw that. I got really lucky. Trying to get him to swing again. Come on, swing. At least he's dead. Goodbye, Asylum Demon. 
soul of the asylum demon. So that was different. Though I probably wouldn't have had to necessarily defeat him on the first try to get that, but hey, different is different. You know, I should try to parry. Oh, well, not that attack. Okay, I was still able to parry. That was one thing that the mod said that they changed, was they tightened the parrying window. That apparently you have to be a little bit more precise about it. And I was never really great at parrying in the first place, but... Ooh, that's different. What is this? Probably should have paid more attention. More like a crossbow. Normally there's only a drop there whenever you pick the Pyromancer, and he gets his Pyromancer's Flame. So that's something that they changed to give the other classes something as well. I wonder if they all get a crossbow. This certainly breathes more life into the game, because I've, play I've played it so many times that it, when it's 100% predictable it can kind of become almost boring. And Dark Souls is never quite boring, it always finds a way to surprise you. Okay, so well, they've changed some things that I wasn't expecting. I was expecting the classes at the beginning to be changed so much. And then that extra crossbow drop at the beginning. So I'm kind of curious what other items around the world have been changed. And it was a gameplay overhaul, so I was expecting more modifications to maybe enemy behavior or tweaks to specific items, and there are those type of changes, but this is really intensive. So here's our first merchant. Let's see what he's got to sell. Learn your gesture. And see what items we got. Okay. So if we're going to go with the Miracle build, go ahead and buy heal. Homeward would be nice, but I can't quite afford it. Boost health recovery from all forms of healing. That is interesting. Alright, well again, we'll have to come back and buy some more stuff. Let's hope the Talisman to use Miracles is still down here in the chest. Yeah, right on, around Firelink there's a whole bunch of starting equipment to kind of help you get going, but of course it wouldn't be Dark Souls if it wasn't at least a little bit hidden. Alright, good, got a Talisman. Oh, wow! <laughs> the chests are moved. Talisman. Was that broken? Yeah, what? Okay, what was the point of that? So, okay. Expect anything, which is fun. Like I said, it, it definitely wouldn't be Dark Souls if it was completely predictable. I don't think I want to run around and grab those items just yet. 200 souls isn't a lot, but I might be able to do something with it. Oh, look, there's a chest over here. You go away. I'm not even interested in fighting you. Now I do not have the skeleton key. And that might become a problem. Alright, so I can't level up with those 200 souls. So, let's progress, shall we? Oh, I'm so glad not to have Nito standing here. So it definitely seems like the drop rates are improved, because not every enemy has dropped something, but definitely more than normal. And you could have helped your friend instead of just standing there and watching him die. I will say, even the animations seem a little bit smoother. Like the backstabs in particular, the, the enemy doesn't like lock up in almost a uh, T-pose before they get stabbed. Spawn the Drake. Hello, Drake. Oh, he squished somebody. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, bud. That crossbow is shooting way faster than normal. You see how fast it is? Let me go ahead and touch the bonfire, just so I don't make a mistake and have to do this all over again. So, have a nice sit. Level up. Now, the first thing I should probably level up 
is endurance. We want to get endurance to at least a point where we can wear a full suit of armor. 